Hello, hello, once again, welcome to Adutech. This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to program step by step from scratch with no steps skipped. And we also teach general digital skills and computer tricks right here on this channel. Remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a multiplication table with user input. What it means is that you are just allow the user to input a value and then you'll be able to get the result okay so let's see example what we are going to create so this is a typical example if i enter in any number at all let's say 70 and i click on submit so immediately i'm going to generate 70 timetable so any number i enter and i just submit i'm going to get the results okay so nine times one nine nine times two eight eighteen in that order so this is what we are going to create today i'm going to teach you everything step by step from scratch with no step skip so stay tuned and subscribe to this channel and watch this video to the end leave a comment below and i'll immediately contact you if you have any suggestion i'm going to attend to you okay so remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell i'm going to do everything for beginners to learn okay so you are going to start from scratch. Remember, PHP stands for pre hypertext preprocessor, and it's a server-side scripting language. Meaning, we need to have a server running before we can run our PHP code. In this case, if you want PHP to run locally on your PC, you need to have a local server. So you can get either a ZAMP or a WAMP. So you notice that I'm using a WAMP server right now. So my WAMP server is currently run. You can see it down at the bottom right corner over here. Okay. So my WAMP is running. So what we are going to do is that to create a folder right away in our drive C. So when you install the WAMP, it's going to have a folder within your drive C. And from there, you can create your own folder and then we can start working right away. So without much ado, let's jump straight into action and see how we can create this amazing multiplication table that accepts any kind of number and then go ahead and then generate the multiplication of that number to you. So it's going to do that up to 12. We can use the loop to generate this so stay tuned let's jump right into action okay so this is basically what i've done but i'm going to take step by step and show you everything with no steps key so what i'm going to do straight away is to go to my drive c and then you notice the one is over here i have my one folder over here let me just open it and within the www folder i'll open that i'm create a folder here a working folder so this is what we are going to do so with this my working folder and what i'm going to do right away is to say let's say new so that's the folder i'm going to work with so let me just save this so when i come back to my you can use the text editor but i prefer using vrc code editor i would suggest that to you to help you a lot it makes your work very easy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to work with that folder so i have to go to file and then go to what open and I'm going to select that folder on my drive C. So this is basically my WAMP. My, you can check my directory. I'm at my WAMP WW folder. And I'm going to select the new and then I'll open this folder. So basically, this is a folder I'm going to work with. We will basically need two files to work to do exactly what we want to do in this tutorial. We will need an index page and then the style sheet. I need to start my page a bit. So this is my folder and I'm going to create some files within there so i need to create an index page so this is php so i'll say index.php okay as simple as that and then i'll need another file as well that file is called the star.css so star.css so these are the two files i'm going to work with so the first thing i need to do is to generate my html template i'll have another video on i have another video on html here that you can refer to that but i'll be creating a comprehensive tutorial on PHP and also HTML and CSS. So remember to subscribe and stay tuned for those tutorials. Okay, so what I need to do is to generate the basic PHP HTML templates. So when I press the shift plus the exclamation sign, I'm going to get something like this. When I hit the tab key, it's going to generate the basic HTML template for me to work with. So within the title over here, I'm just going to type. Okay, so let me just zoom this in for you to see what exactly I'm going to do. Okay, I think this is big enough for you to see. So let me just see the title over here. I'm just going to type multiplication. Sorry. 
or duplication table okay so this is what i'm going to do so that's the title what this is going to do is that let me go back to my browser and then we are creating a whole new thing just like this one so i'm going to a new tab and i'll locate my warm server okay my local host and when i open my local host this way we can come down here and we see the file i created so this is my new folder to access that i'll just go to local host slash new and i'll just hit enter so you notice within the title bar over here we have the multiplication table so exactly anytime you put anything within your title over here that is where it will show it will show within your title up here so let's go ahead and then start working we want to create something just as it so the first thing we need is the multiplication table up here okay so that's going to be h1 title okay so let's go down here and first of all i'm going to create a div that's mean division i want to create a div down here I want to put everything into a container so i'm going to create a class if you don't know they just stick to this i'll have a comprehensive video on css and then you understand classes and ids so i'll give it a class and call that class container okay so i'm calling this class container everything is going to wrap within this container so we can go ahead and then now say h1 we want h1 header and let's call this multiplication table don't worry about this i'm going to convert everything into uppercase okay using css so what you see over you are going to do exactly that but before that let's go ahead and then okay let me reload this page so notice i'm having my multiplication table by here so what we need to do next is to try to connect our css so we've created css so we're for it to we have different ways in which we can link css to what we are doing but I prefer using the external CSS so I need to link it over here so I'm going to link it at the top over here and say link so if I use this and I hit the tab key I'm just going to type CSS style CSS okay so that's exactly what I want and if I come up here you shouldn't see or you shouldn't expect any change for now let's try to convert this into uppercase and then center align this okay but before that just below this let me put a horizontal rule down here just a horizontal rule because we basically want to create something like this so notice i have a rule just beneath this we want to have the same thing over here so i have created that okay so we have my rule down here but now we need to convert this into a package okay just as we have over here and center align this so let's go ahead and see how we can do that so within my css Look at what is having over here. we have enough space around this but this we close the space so every browser is having a default settings so we need to format that so we can come here within my css i'll just say star star means everything i want to reset my browser so i'll give it a pardon a pardon of what i'll give it a pardon of zero and also a margin of zero this will reset my browser for me okay this is also going to reset my browser for me okay so let me go back and reload my page and let's see the changes okay so notice that there has been some amazing change we've reset our browser now so let's try to convert this to uppercase and then we center align it neatly as we have over here so let's go ahead and do that let me just target my container to select a class you notice we have a class here called container and the h1 is within this container so what we need to do is to target this multiplication table within the container and then format it okay so let's first call the container then we target the h1 to call a class you use a dot keyword so dot container sorry container then we target the h1 header okay as simple as that then we bring our curly bracket so right now we want to see text align basically we're going to align this to the center so text align center let's see what is going to happen and let me reload this okay so this text is neatly aligned to the center the next we need to do is to now convert it into what a package so i want to use the text transform so let's say text transform i want to use the text transform keyword i'm going to use what a package as simple as that and if we should reload this they should be converted into a package neatly okay this is so unique but we notice we have some small space at the top 
that is a margin so we can add some margin top and push this down a bit okay we can also have padding but i prefer to push it down a bit so let's go ahead and say margin top so we say margin so let's call this margin we are using margin top okay and then the top let's push it down to let's say about 30 pixels okay let's see how that's going to work so let me come down here and then reload this okay so this is down and i think this is okay now so the next thing we are going to do is to bring this multiplication table with user input this is a marquee we want to move the we want to add this test moving from the right to the left that's what we are going to do the next thing so let's come to back to our text editor go to the index page and just below the horizontal let's use the marquee the marquee keyword this way and then just over here i'll say multiplication okay multiplication table with user what input so let's see what is going to happen right away let's go back and load and this should be working neatly let's see exactly we have that so this is moving multiplication table with user input what next do we need we need to now create entire label entire number and then we have this text box and the submit button so i think we are making progress so let's go ahead and then create this label text box and the submit button but i think we should put this also inside a div okay so we're going to put this entire thing into a div so let's say div and this div class let's give it a class now sorry let me close this so this is a new div so let me give it a class and this class i'm going to call it a form okay so let me just call this a form so all my form settings will be within this class okay so let's go down here and let's say label okay let me just call this label okay so let me bring the form keyword okay because we are going to make some changes over here so within this let me now create my labels uh, let me say label so that label let's say the label is for let's say let me say details okay yes i'll that let me say over here i will say enter a number so you want the user to enter a number and then we can go ahead and then submit that number so let's go to our page and then we should have that now okay so we have the entire number so we, the next thing we we'll need is our text box so let's go ahead and then bring our text box so let's see input we want to accept input from the user so let's say text box and let's give it a name we'll use that name within the php so let's say name name and that name we let's just call it a number okay and the last thing we want to do is to get the input okay so the input another input this time around but we want to submit the result so this one is going to be submit submit and the value will be what submit let's give it a value and let's call that one also submit and i want to give it an id i want to target this and then do some bit of formatting so let's say submit again of course i want to do some formatting to this let me load this and see what we've done so far I think so far we've got we've been able to do everything that we need but let's try and then move it to the center okay so we are going to target the entire form over here so the form is also a class so I'll come down here and say dot form and let's say margin sorry this should be margin left so from the left we want to push it to about 150 okay let's push it to about 150 pixels and that should at least be somewhere within the middle all right okay let me load this i think this is perfect you notice i have some nice button over here we can do that that's why i give some id to this let me just add some small padding to my id so i target an id use the hash keyword so we name our id submit okay submit and then i'm just going to say you know, just some like, simple padding I think two pixels should be enough and then I'll give it a background color okay background so the background color should be any color but I prefer aqua okay let me see you go for aqua marine okay so let's reload and see what we've done so far okay so we are good to go now we have this and everything is set 
So the next thing we need to do is to work with our PHP. We're done with our CSS and HTML part of our code. The next thing is to get our loop and then start generating our numbers. Then I think we'll be done. Remember to subscribe to this channel and also hit the like button and share this video with friends in order to encourage me, motivate them to create similar videos just as this. So the next thing we are going to do is to get our numbers displayed down here. So let's go ahead and then do that. We need to do that using PHP. So let's come down here, just down here. Let's create PHP. Okay, let's start our PHP statement over here. Okay, we want to start PHP and let's close it as well. We are going to first look at something. The first thing I'm going to do is that we want to make sure that the person enters something into this text box. We need to be sure that the person enters something before hitting the submit button. So we are going to say if if statement let's say if is if is set what we're going to do is that we're going to say if is set we're going to, we're going to post the result meaning if the person enters something then we can post that okay so we're going to use the post keyword okay and what are we posting we are posting this number yeah okay we are posting this number but this should be in quotes we are posting this number let's post so i'm going to paste this here so the same number so let's now open the bracket so if this if something really has been entered into the text box then we're going to post that number but i'm going to create a variable to store whatever the person enters so let's say same number we're now going to say dollar underscore what post and then what are we posting the number okay i've already copied let me just paste and then I need to end this statement as simple as that so we've so far covered some portion of our code so the next thing we will do now is now we are sure we want to be sure the person posted something so whatever the person post we are now going to save it within this variable name number and then we can now loop so we are going to create a for loop over here to loop through our numbers so I'm coming down and say for I'm going to create another variable so I'm going to call this variable I so I'm going to say you should start from one and then I'll bring if you watch my previous tutorial I've create I've showed you how to create loops so you should have some fair knowledge about this if you don't have just go back to my playlist and then watch my tutorial on how to create loops and then we are going to say this I should be less than or equal to sorry less than or equal to 12 so we want to generate a multiplication table if you take note of what we've done any number we entered will just end at what 12 so we're going to do that 12 is inclusive so that's why we have less than or equal to 12 so anytime we do that we want to also increment our loop our number so that's the i so plus plus means we want to increment this and the next thing we're going to do is to now print out the result to the user okay so i'm going to go straight forward to print out the results i'm going to use the echo statement in php to print out anything use the echo statement so echo now what we are going to echo is a number so that's the number the person entered so that number is what we have over here so this is the number the person will enter so that number will come so i'm going to so that number i'm going to just append it to the multiplication table so this is going to be times this way okay and then this is called concatenation adding a number trying to join two different statements together so i'm going to say the number times now the looping numbers so this is the number so this is going to be now i times the looping numbers i'm trying to loop so this is exactly what i'm going to append this again and I want to bring the equal to sign that I want it to be printed out so I'm going to put it into quotation and the next thing I'm going to do is to also append again to my final result so now I'm going to multiply the number times the looping numbers so I'm going to see the number again I've copied that and then times using the times keyword times the I that's the numbers I'm trying to loop so this is exactly what we want to do but this okay so we have this everything set we need to end this statement neatly if i run this code 
let me try running this and let's see what we've gotten so far so this is what we are doing so let me just put in any number let me put in let's say seven and run this code and see okay so let's go back and check what is wrong with our code so we have this and let me just do something simple over here let's try to put this into a quotation okay i want to put everything into a quotation now but i want to make i want to make the outcome a bold text okay so i'm going to append this to my final result over here I would append this to my final results okay so I'm gonna do this and then call it strong okay so this is what is happening now I think I need to end it over here so let me see we have everything set now and let me just small debug into my code and then we are good to go okay so i need one okay so i need to bring another dot here to also append this final one then i think everything is set so with the last thing we need is to also bring a break i want to bring a break after a line is printed out i want to break to a new line so we we need to do some few changes notice that we need to apply some actions over here so what is our form doing once the person click on the the person click on the submit button so we need to bring some action so this action is going to process the information that's the index index.php page and the method is we are trying to post so we are going to use the post method okay we're going to use the post method that is exactly what we are going to do we we'll use the post keyword so we are using the post method so let's go back and reload our page and see what is happening now Okay, so let's put in the figure and then try to submit this okay so you notice everything is now working but we ne first need to align center align everything so we have three times one three three times two six in that order so we need to center align this we want it to appear just beneath our text box so if i select 13 i hit this you notice that i'm going to have 13 times one 13 times two so anything i'm going to enter and submit this is going to work perfectly okay so the next thing we need to do let's try to center align this just beneath our text box and everything is going to work perfectly as expected so i'll go back to my form my echo statement so this strong i'm going to go use the one of the inline style sheets so inline let me just see let me just okay so this is going to be margin eh? i want to just add a margin let's say a margin of margin left so i want to push it from the left margin left let me just give it around 350 and this should appear exactly below my text box okay so let me reload this okay so let me check everything once again i want to add a margin okay margin okay so let me just use a double quote for my margin okay okay i think what i did is i left the pesos right let me just put in pesos over here so let me just give it a margin of 350 pesos i'm giving it a margin of 350 pesos let me reload this and see if this is going to work okay so everything is now working perfectly as expected so this is what we have anything we enter we hit the submit button then we generate that multiplication i think this has gone too far so let me reduce everything to let's say around 330 and we'll go back and reload our page and see what we've done okay let's go back and reload our page i think the position is now okay so even if i should go and enter 99 and hit the submit button i'm still going to generate that multiplication table thank you so much for watching this tutorial and remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell in order to get updates 
anytime we upload a new content so we've been able to successfully create a multiplication table that has accept user input so it will depend on what number you enter and this multiplication table will be generated to you right away thank you so much and continue to support me by sharing this video with friends till i come your way another day stay blessed bye